A global first. This is the moment a fixed-wing drone lands on the Prince of Wales aircraft carrier. The twin-engine aircraft flew from the Lizard Peninsula in Cornwall, and this flight is being hailed as a vital step along the way to operating crewless aircraft alongside F-35 Lightning jets and Merlin and Wildcat helicopters as part of the carrier strike group. Operating autonomous drones like this will become the norm across Royal Navy carrier strike groups in our 50-year lifespan. More to learn, more to exploit from these impressive strike carriers, and this is the first of many opportunities to push the boundary of UK carrier aviation, to shape the future of Royal Naval Carrier Strike as we prepare for CSG 25. The Prince of Wales has experimented with drones before, but nothing as large as the one created by W Autonomous Systems. The HCMC is a fixed wing aircraft. It has 10 meter wingspan. It's a twin engine configuration aircraft. Um, and it's capable of carrying up to 100 kilograms of payload. It does require a runway to take off and land. Um, however, it has been designed for very short um, and unprepared runways. So we have done tests and um, been operating less than 120 meter runways and in unprepared runways, grass runways, gravel. The aim of this heavy lift uncrewed air system is to deliver various equipment from shore to ship. That could be anything from spare parts to medical supplies. So we're looking primarily for resupplying at sea to free up some of our more expensive, more capable equipment, crewed aircraft, to be able to do their core job. And using something like this one today for resupplying at, sh at sea and taking equipment from shore to the carrier to re resupply and then also coming things from the carrier back to shore for capabilities. Ultimately it's there to make things quicker and more efficient for, the, for ourselves. The autonomous drone is designed to operate without the need of a remotely trained pilot. But during the trials, there's still a lot to think about to ensure success. The drone has a range of 1,000 kilometres and can fly 700 feet into the air. I'm at the Air Traffic Control Centre at Bradanic Airfield and the operators inside will be monitoring things like live location, fuel supply and most importantly, communication with the ship. The actual route the drone takes is all thanks to its clever autopilot system. The system is automatic takeoff to landing. It has that capability. So what you do is you design a mission, which is a series of waypoints on a map. Uh, each of the waypoints is like latitude, longitude, altitude. So it gives um, a number of a sequence of um, instructions to the aircraft that it will follow automatically. These trials with the HCMC drone come at the start of Prince of Wales' deployment to America, where more experimentation will take place with aircraft and different uncreed autonomous systems to advance naval warfare. You can look at any of the news today and see how uh, much drones are becoming to the forefront and how much uh, more capable they are and where we're going. And we're looking to do everything we possibly can, using and maximising as much technology as we can as we move forward into the future, being ready to ultimately to fight the enemy, whoever they may be but in all ways it's preparing for, for whatever comes. Technology like this will allow us to, to stay on the cutting edge. And for Britain's biggest warship, staying on the cutting edge is imperative. Bryony Williams, Forces News, Cornwall. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.